now, speaking about your government, uh, why was your health minister and your cabinet intent on getting these pandemic empowers embedded, locked in right through to the next election? Look, I think, Chris, that we are just committed to ensuring uh, New South Wales uh, is safe and uh, public health orders are there for that. And, look, it's good. You know, we've listened um, to, to, to the party room. We just... Uh, we listened to our communities and there was a fear um, that any lockdown could happen. You know, we weren't going to do that. But this is about listening to our, our backbench and our communities and just moving forward to keep New South Wales safe. We are the state that is leading the way. I mean, what we have achieved in terms of opening borders, the double vaccination this is the rates, point. my if I, if communities, I, if 95%. I could just jump in there, if I could just jump in there, Melinda, I mean, I, I would, I, I've been one of the strongest supporters of the way the New South Wales government has managed this crisis with the lightest touch of any, any state in the country. And that's why it seems so out of character to do this. Why wouldn't someone in Cabinet have realised that this team sends to go right against the, the push for a lighter touch and personal freedoms in the state of New South Wales. I can guarantee you with Dominic Perrottet and Paul Toole, the light to touch would continue. Uh, it was just a paperwork issue, but we've given confidence. We're listening to the backbench. Uh, we're listening to our communities and we're going to continue uh, to lead Australia get back to normal as we are and uh, I'm proud of the work the government's doing and, and you know, Dominic Perrottet is just a, a great Premier uh, and with Paul Tool, they're listening to our communities and responding. Thanks for joining us, Minister. Thank you.